what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation so today we are renovating this apartment here in the art district for your spellcaster family or your witch family whatever it is that you want to call them so i have yet to well i mean this is my first build i guess you would say uh with the witch stuff that's not in glimmerbrook and i decided that i wanted to go for a more dark gothic and modern theme because the vibe i get from glimmerbrook and especially with the furniture um that came with the pack i forgot what style furniture that is it actually has a name but it's like wooden and flowy but it's very cottagey vibes to me so i definitely wanted to go with something just a little bit different so i don't use a lot of the furniture and stuff that we got with the pack but i do use some of it and of course this is an apartment and um since i wanted to go with something more modern i decided to build in the arts district just because the exterior of the apartments in the arts district is more modern and it kind of fits that aesthetic a little bit more but anyways you don't have room for like a cauldron or you know like a little secret basement where you do your potions and spells but this is for more you know city oriented witches because let's be realistic in the real world people who are witches um they don't necessarily like live in the forest you know they could live in the city they could live out in the country they could live in the suburbs you know you, you never know whatever they practice um yeah so of course your sims are gonna have to like go to glimmerbrook if they want to use a cauldron or you know something like that but that secret magical realm world makes sense for your sims that don't necessarily live in glimmerbrook because it is such a small world anyways but so back to or on to because i don't even think i've really mentioned the build much <laughs> um i decided like i said to go for modern and dark interior and i was struggling a little bit with the color scheme that i wanted to go for and trust me i cut out a ton of it probably about 10 minutes of me just trying to figure out what color scheme i wanted to go for and at first i was going for like a red and black just because it was like very dark and gothic in my head but then the red just reminded me too much of vampires i guess because of red and then blood um i tried purple because i know purple is a popular color with some of the items that came with the new pack but ultimately, I decided to go with this navy or what you call it, midnight dark blue and black. And I think it turned out so pretty. I love how it kind of just made that picture, that picture hanging above the fireplace there that came with the Realm of Magic. It made it pop because, you know, of the blue. And I was pleased with how many decorations I could find to place around the house. It kind of just had that pop of blue to bring out the walls. And I think it turned out so very pretty. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But over here where I put a desk and a bookshelf, I do use the bookshelf that came with the Magic a realm of magic pack because it has like the potions and it's very witchy and i do put um the little i don't know what do you, what do you call it? like a little curio cabinet or something in the kitchen um by the dining room with like potion stuff i put um a familiar orb in one of the bedrooms i put wands in one of the bedrooms so i, I did add a bunch of witchy and spellcaster stuff because this is obviously who the apartment belongs to but you know like i said it's more modern and city like but anyways this floor plan for this apartment well okay, this apartment is not one that i typically tend to uh, build in just because of the placement of the windows and i know that there is a cheat where you can change the windows and kind of you know add on to the exterior of the house but i don't like to use that cheat because I like it to blend in with the exterior. I don't want to like jack up the exterior and make my one apartment different from all the others. You know, it just, it's, I know it's a game and it, it doesn't always have to be realistic, but to me it just makes absolutely no sense. So I always try to go around the, um, <laughs> the windows and the placements when I do my floor plans. Um, so this is a new floor plan that I've never done before in this apartment. I usually t stick to the original floor plan uh, because of those big open windows. 
And the original floor plan does have two bedrooms and one bath. So I do mimic that. It's two bedroom and one bath. And then I do add a laundry room on. But I actually gave the view right here. The very nice view. <laughs> um, this is the kitchen area and the dining room area. So the living area, as you saw, did not have any window space or anything like that. Which, you know, really doesn't bother me. But I did want to make sure the bedrooms had window spaces. So it's very awkward. But if you're familiar with this apartment, you know that... Um, the original bedroom floor plan you kind of have to like split the windows which is two separate windows but there's it's just you'll see it just it's awkward it's weird but hey it works so yeah this apartment like I said obviously does for spellcasters or witches but in my head I was thinking a mom and dad and then their teenage son so that is how I kind of furnished the house or not kind of um, I did <laughs> it's a teenage boys bedroom and a parents bedroom but Anyways, I didn't use too much clutter throughout the house, especially in the kitchen. I've said this before when I do more modern or trendy style houses. I just get a very clean vibe from that style. And I don't know if that's realistic because that's not at all how I'm used to growing up in these modern style houses. We, I've said this so many times. We, I just don't see a lot of modern interiors or exterior houses for that matter. Uh, so it's just kind of what I learned from watching other people's YouTube videos and inspiration from Pinterest. But to me, I just feel like it's very clean, very tidy, and not too cluttery. So that's kind of what I went for when doing like the kitchen and the cabinets and everything I tried to keep the clutter to a minimum and then also as you probably saw I think I've already done the cabinets yeah the cabinets above the counters um I did something a little bit different which honestly not even realistic because there's dishes way up there and you really can't like reach the dishes but it's all for looks but I really like how I made the tall cabinets you know you know what I'm talking about how I made them kind of like reach all the way up in these tall walls that come with this apartment I don't know it's not really realistic like I said because you can't reach the the dishes but I like how it looks it kind of just brings it all together because sometimes it looks a little weird to me when you're playing with the medium or especially the tall wall heights and you have the cabinets and then so much wall and space above it um so some builds especially in apartments i think you can get away with kind of bringing the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling kind of making it mesh and blend all together if that makes any sense um I don't know if you can hear my son, <laughs> but this is kind of um, the usual on my voiceovers now. You may hear him fussing and making some noises in the background because I try to do my voiceovers when little man is napping and sometimes, you know, he stirs in his naps and I'm probably disturbing him with my big mouth talking, um, but I think right now he's just a little bit gassy. He's been tooting away and do, let me tell you, this kid farts louder than a grown man, so... If you hear a fart, I promise it wasn't me. <laughs> but anyways, we're almost done with this voiceover. So far, so good. He hasn't made too much of a ruckus. But I do believe he's starting to stir and get a little bit hungry. But anyways, yeah, just ignore the baby noises going on in the background. But here we are in the laundry room, which is off to the kitchen. And I try, you know, me, if you're familiar with my speed builds and you watch them on the well, I wouldn't say on the daily. I don't upload daily anymore. But if you watch them regular, regularly, I cannot say that word, regularly. There you go. Is that right? <laughs> you know that I really like to include laundry rooms, especially in apartments. Um, I don't know how apartments are in other places or possibly in other states or other parts of the world and other countries <laughs> but I've lived in an apartment and I've been in many of apartments and there's a laundry room there's even if it's not a room it's the space in the bathroom it's a space in the hallway somewhere for you to do your laundry I'm not really sure how it is in the city because you may have laundry mats I, I'm not sure so if you live in the city like even if it's like New York City in the states or elsewhere let me know do you have laundry in your apartments or do you take them elsewhere 
I don't know. I've seen in some TV shows that apartments have like their own laundry room, kind of like downstairs. So that's pretty cool. So maybe that's how it is. I don't know. But I do like to have laundry in my Sims houses and apartment just because it's realistic to have that but anyways here we are in the parents bedroom and I went with that blue and black bed so I did say this house was kind of like gothic but it's really not gothic <laughs> um, because it does have a little bit of color in it but I wanted to go more towards like um, darker colors but I think this bedroom right here is kind of more of the lighter side of the house um but it's okay I think it turns out really nice I just like how modern it looked I love that picture how I made a pop and over here you'll see I put like a familiar orb and um, a few other things from the pack I think I don't know if I put it I don't know if I did this on camera or off camera, but I was going through the debug objects and I pulled out one of the brooms and you can hang those on the wall. So I did hang a broom in the room. Maybe it just goes so fast you don't see me do that or I do it off camera. I don't remember, but yeah, there is a lot of witchy stuff in the room. Um, and right here in the hallway, I just put like a little lamp and some pictures. And I do imagine this family would have a cat <laughs> just because, you know, witches, cats. And I don't really think it's realistic to have a dog in an apartment. I know a lot of people do have dogs in their apartment, but typically I would imagine a, an apartment suiting a smaller dog because big dogs, um, they just tend to, to me, need more exercise and more room to run around and roam around than little dogs. So when I do apartments and furnish them, I typically tend to add a cat in there just because cats kind of like to stay inside anyways and just chill and hang out. They have a litter box. You don't really have to take them for walks or anything. So yeah, apart from them being witches and you know the witch cat thing, I did give them a cat or furnished it for a cat. But anyways, here we are in the son's bedroom, and I think his bedroom turned out so nice. I love how it's decorated, it's cluttered, has a lot of personality. Um, I was kind of like unsure how I was going to furnish it because it's kind of rectangular and definitely not my favorite shape room to furnish, but I gave him a guitar, his own laptop, a wand, um, you know, I don't know, I just think it looks very nice. I think, I think he would appreciate it, but anyways yeah he's learning all about the spells and potion making so i wanted it to look like he had a bunch of books and stuff where he had to study and learn and yada 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 but anyways this video is wrapping up so if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up it is available for download on the gallery all that is linked down below subscribe if you haven't and with that being said i'll talk to you guys later bye Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be.